Hey everybody, it's Debbie O'Neill at Scrap Me Quick Designs and the Let's Learn Cricut Explore Facebook group. And one of our members asked me if I could show her how to customize a file that is a Make It Now file in Cricut Design Space for her to be able to customize it for her child. So um, she is looking for a the Valentine card where you put the crayons in it. And so that's what we're going to work on. So I'm already logged into Design Space. When you do that, it comes up to the Make It Now projects are already on the first page. And I am going to scroll down until we get to where the crayons are. And this actually says Valentine Coloring Card. So I'm going to click on that. It'll take a second and pop up here. All right. So this is what the cards look like. And these are intended to be... Uh, drawings that then the, you provide crayons and the kids color them in okay so this is all going to be done with using a like a black um, Cricut pen and um, there's directions here that tells you, you use a light grip mat a Cricut pen white cardstock and have some crayons right because it's going to cut these little slits that these crayons go into all right so this shows you the images that they're using and um, and then if you click the eye here, it tells you where those images come from, what cartridge it's from, and so forth, all right? Um, but if you, if you clicked on Make It Now, it's going to load those onto your mat, and, and you can just do exactly like they have it, okay? And it'll prompt you to put your pen in and the whole nine yards, all right? But, and go through and cut them all out for you. However, what we want to do is we don't want these images. We want some, a different image than the dinosaur, or the owl, or the whale. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're going to go down here. Instead of hitting Make It Now, we're going to Customize. When you customize, um, you'll, highlight, you'll highlight an image, and then you need to detach it. Okay? So we're going to move this owl and this Valentine hoot because we are not going to use this. Okay, and uh, we're now going to um, add a new image. So I'm going to go into upload images. You could insert a Cricut image or you can insert an uploaded image. I'm making this to send to my nephew, so I'm going to use a Darth Vader because he is a big Star Wars fan and this is an SVG file that I've got from somewhere and um, but this will work with any any images that you have so I'm just gonna kinda size it till it looks about right to me okay because I have to leave room for writing okay so now that I have my image on here I want I need to change this to right now it's a cut file okay so it would cut all these pieces out and then I'd have to glue them onto this card. Well, that defeats the purpose of a coloring card. We need to make it so it's just the outline. So I'm going to go over here in my layers panel, here where it's highlighted. I'm going to click on it and it's going to bring up the layer attribute panel. So I'm going to hit write and now it has changed the writing for this into black. And I'm going to go ahead and move this into the black pen okay so it has it is now when it when it writes it's going to write this in black all right so that's the first thing I did I just changed a simple image into a right okay so it's going to draw this and then the kids would be able to color it with the colors that you provide for them here in the file however I want to alter this a little bit so I'm going to blow your minds and show you a little something else and so now I'm going to highlight that same image. I'm going to go over here to Contour. And let's say there's a piece of this I want to take out. I would like to remove this part. And what I'm doing is it was that it's uh, got a darker blue line, but when you click on it, it goes away. Okay, so now you don't see it. And then I'm going to click Contour again. And now that part of the image isn't on here, and it will not be drawn. And I want to add a heart instead, because I'm making these for Valentine's Day. So I'm going to use the insert shapes. Those are the basic shapes in Design Space. That's free for everybody to use. 
And I'm going to go take this and make a little heart that's going to go here on Mr. Vader. And I need, I need to remember, I need to change this to a writing file because I want all this to be drawn. So I'm going to click on that again, and then I'm going to change it to write in the Layers Attribute panel. But I want that to be outlined in red. I want to use my red pen when I do this. So I'm going to come down here and change it to my red pen. Okay, perfect. So now it's going to draw the Vader out, and it's going to draw that in red. All right. Now I need to add my sentiment, so I'm going to go over here to add text, and I want to put, um, join the heart side, since this is kind of a play on words with um, Darth Vader Star Wars theme, okay? So I'm just going to move this down, and I'm going to end up putting it over here somewhere, um, just to give me an idea what, where I want it. And now I need to change this. Right now, if you look at this file, it is a cut file. I don't want it to be a cut file. Remember, we want to change this to a writing file. So I'm going to hit write. But I do want this to be... I do want this to be in red. So I'm going to come down here to red. All right? But I need to change it to, I need to change it from regular outline, which is what that's showing. It's going to outline the letters that would normally cut because I need to change this to writing, okay? So I could leave it this way if I want and it would just go around the letters like you see here. And that would look fine too, but I really want to just change it to a writing font. So there again, I'm gonna, there's the Cricut alphabet. I'm going to Scroll down to where it says writing, and I'm going to change that to writing. Okay, so I'm going to unclick this. I want to kind of manipulate the text a little bit and get it so that it will be about where I want it on my card. I'm going to move his little heart up a little bit. Okay, and... So now that I've changed it to writing, I need to go back into the Layers panel and change it to the red pen because I would like this to be in red. All right, so now you've seen that done a couple of different ways, and I'm going to highlight that, and I need to go back over here to my Layers panel and hit Attach. Okay, now all of this stays together. When I hit Go up here to go to my uh, Cricut machine, we're going to scroll down here. These are the two cards that I didn't alter. These are the ones that were in there. I could certainly have deleted them if I wanted. Uh, but I'm just going to show you that now my uh, customized card is there. And I would be able to hit go, and it'll go to the printer, and it'll prompt me to change the pins to, from black to red when it's time to do that. And that is how you customize this file. I hope you guys found that useful, and I will um, do more videos upon request. Let me know if there's something else you want me to show you how to do. I'm always happy to do that. And happy Valentine's Day prep everybody's going through right now and uh, change it to what you want. You can also just use any of the Cricut shapes and then change those to writing shapes too. So play around with that. It's a lot of fun to kind of uh, explore your creativity with this or your child's favorite theme or whatever. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.